PSM live now. Welcome on second to another new video. This is Santu Sahu and you are watching Sahu's tutorial. Good evening everyone. Do join quickly and in this YouTube video here I will be covering some PYQ questions of Gujarat set. This is the fourth video and I am conducting PYQ series of Gujarat set exam. Do join quickly. And please let me know if everything is okay with the PDF is visible to everyone and I am audible to everyone. Please do let me know. And do join quickly. So here I am to begin this presentation with this PDA where I will be covering PYQs of Gujarat set exam. Okay. And okay dinners. Okay dinners. Okay. I'll be I'll be definitely trying to solve the not this set paper. Okay. Definitely in the upcoming days, in the upcoming days, I will be definitely will be helping you by solving the northeast set paper one by one. Just let it, uh, yeah. So, is everything okay, Dinesh? Is everything okay? Good evening, Sujit. Yeah, I was waiting for everyone here. So, let's begin the session here. And here I am to begin the first question is on your screen. Okay. And before starting the session, this is my humble request to all the aspirants. Please make sure to subscribe the channel and tap the bell icon to get more notification. And to stay updated, please do join the telegram channel that is Santu Sabu EGC Net. Okay. So without wasting your time, with a part of due. Let's begin this session with this question number one. And here is your first question. Hamlet's famous phrase that is a readiness is all. Hamlet's famous phrase that is the readiness is all mentions one of the following birds. Po, Robin, a Sparrow, Nightingale. Good evening. Good evening, Anandita. Good evening, everyone. Who's well? And here is the first question on your screen. Please do answer in the comment box. I think everything is okay. Sujit, is everything okay? Am I audible and the PDF is also visible clearly to everyone? I think everything is okay. So let's begin the session. And here is your first question on your screen. Welcome. Yeah. So let's get started with this question number one. Hoping to make, hoping to make another video as well. Okay. Hoping to make another video after 10 by finishing this. Hoping to make another video as well. So here is the first question. Do answer. Let's get started. Okay. All okay. All okay. No answer. Okay. Um, I was waiting for, uh, literally I was waiting for everyone. Yeah. I mean the candidates who join come every day. I was also waiting for, yeah. Waiting for Sujit, Saurabh, Subrangsun, Sutarita, Anandita as well. So let's get started with this. Even Godot, Atmanja. Okay. Where is the first question? Yeah, it's Sparrow. Exactly, Sujit, it's Sparrow is the right answer. Here you see the Sparrow is the right answer. Hamlet's famous phrase, readiness is all, mentions one of the following words. Here the right answer is uh, Sparrow. And this speech act actually, uh, this phrase actually appeared Okay, appeared in Act 5, Scene 2. In Act 5, Scene 2 of Act 5, Scene 2 of Hamlet, where Hamlet is defending the will of gods, the will of gods, the will of gods, the fate, and asserting that, that everything unfolds according to the plan of divine will, the divine power. <clears throat> he is actually defending the will of God. Everything which happened, everything unfolds according to the according to the plan of divine will. If something is fated to happen, it will definitely happen. 
if not now then it will not happen like it will happen it will not uh, it will not happen now it will happen in later as well so here he is rejecting the ogari's beliefs ogari's the superstitions of ogari's the beliefs he is actually the superstitions of ogari's he is rejecting that that fate can be changed okay ogari's used to believe that that fate can be changed whereas here hamlet is saying that that we cannot change the fate we cannot change the fate we cannot change the intention of the divine power hmm. even the small sparrow even here the small sparrow is actually hmm, uh, is in the hand of the death of the small sparrow is in the hand of god so we have to abide by that hmm. he is actually referring here he is actually referring he is escaping he is escaping of hanging by his friends rosenken and gildenstern he was escaped from that hanging by his friends rosenken and gildenstern that's why here that uh, what is fated it can be it can happen even the small sparrow is in the hands of the dead of the small sparrow is in the hands of uh, in the hands of uh, god so it is actually the human will versus human will human will human will versus uh, one minute human will versus versus <coughs> will of god or god's will theek okay. hai chal next question the setting of waiting for god a waiting for god the setting of waiting for god has the time of the day as night evening morning afternoon the setting of waiting for god has the time of the day as night morning evening and afternoon so you know the story of waiting for godot here hmm 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 excellent so it's see actually the only visible reference to the passage of time occurs at the end of act 2 where the sun sets and the moon rises the sun sets and the moon rises that was saturday yeah saturday was also there one of the day was mentioned there saturday was there hmm. so the only reference that was the rise of the moon here this evening is the right answer exactly its evening is the right answer hmm. and you know who was who was vladimir the characters like vladimir vladimir who is also known as dd and you have another character is estragon who is known as what which known as what is the name of estragon it is gogo and there is the titular character who makes uh, the titular character borod who never comes the titular character borod who never comes and the subtitle is a tragic comedy in two acts a tragic comedy in two acts and here that is he himself has translated hmm? he himself samuel beckett has himself translated the french play into english a tragic comedy in two acts here vladimir and estragon they are meeting where they are meeting they are meeting by a leafless tree by a leafless by a leafless tree there we see in the very beginning uh, we see that they are meeting by a leafless tree that is vladimir and estragon and then up when they were conversing they were doing the conversation and at that time what happened at that time the two characters the traveler named pojo the traveler was pojo there so pojo is a character from this waiting for god pojo the traveler arrived with along with his silent servant the silent servant is actually who was silent servant what are the servant name of the servant the servant was actually lucky so pojo then comes with pojo comes with lucky and he pojo was uh, lucky was roped actually and pojo was holding the rope theek hai lucky and pojo was going to the market to sell lucky to sell lucky uh, for profit so this pojo lucky vladimir estragon then you have he himself has translated this work into english these are the things you need to 
no and it was setting was evening and the mention of the day was that subramanian mentioned that was saturday okay next question okay the body a play is called comedy of minute derives its names from the subtitle of a play by have you joined good asha good evening good evening everyone asha sujarita subramanian sujit saurav anandita dinesh good everyone Hmm. Excellent, Sujarita. What was the name of the work, Sujarita? Even in the previous videos, I have discussed as well. What was the name of the book actually? Yeah, yeah. Earlier, even I have discussed actually. Excellent. Now, what is the name of the book? The Lunatic View. David Campton is the right answer. The Lunatic View. The Lunatic View. The Lunatic View. and the subtitle was what a comedy of minute good evening a comedy of minute theek hai hmm. excellent the lunatic view a comedy of minute is the work by david campton and who has coined comedy of minute kisne coined kiya tha actually comedy of minute was coined by who who was the proponent who had coined write it down in the comment box who had coined comedy of minute and he that he had taken from this work of david campton who has coined comedy of many write it down in the comment box so here is question number 4 okay dr foster stambul lain the jew of malta edward the second here are characters comedy of many watch is it mm mm then what did do having model okay comedy of minute was coined by who and being wordle and he had coined by taking this name a comedy of minute from david campton he borrowed the title from campton's play hmm exactly chalo hmm chalo dr foster stambul lend a bolo hmm Hmm. Good evening. So here, now answer question number four. Doctor Foster and Doctor Foster, we find the character Wagner. ठीक है. Now we have in Tamburland. Tamburland there is we find the character called Pasio. And Edward the second, we young Mortimer or junior Mortimer. Here this one, whereas the Jew of Malta is Abigail. Okay. Now. now let me discuss here this character share one by one you see who watch wagner wagner kon tha who was wagner any idea foster students and servant isn't it foster wagner was actually foster student student and servant theek hai student and servant hmm and he was trying to summon what he was trying to summon the devils by borrowing by borrowing foster's spell book magical book and he even summoned he even summoned baliel the devils two devils two devils were summoned by wagner one was baliel b a l i o l and belcher b e l c h e r so these these are the two devils that were summoned by wagner a wagner was foster student and servant he took he borrowed the magical book the book of necromancy from dr foster and he 
what did he do he summoned balian and belcher the two devils okay by using that book and here is tamburlan in tamburlan we find the character kosro kosro who was kosro kosro is actually the brother of mycetes the, the brother of mycetes and even after uh, we at the very beginning of the play uh, we find that kosro is planning to overthrow mycetes theek hai kosro is the brother the brother here is planning to overthrow from the uh, from the king mycetes and uh, i think here is uh, you have edward the second there is the mortimer junior and you know edward the second is famous uh, for the usage of homosexual elements can be found in by marlo between gaveston and edward the second and here is you have in jube in dio malta we have abigail abigail is the daughter abigail is the daughter of who abigail is the daughter of this jew of this jew called the jew called barabbas theek hai b a r a b a r a b a s theek hai barabbas is the jew barabbas is the jew barabbas daughter is actually abigail okay and he is the only uh, he is the only she is the only good character kind hearted character abigail abigail is the kind character very kind hearted character abigail theek hai so tab kya hoga a ho raha hai doctor first touch to dekh le raha hai apne se theek hai jo bhi hai check kar lena theek hai now arrange the following plays by t s eliot in chronological order theek hai the family reunion the confidential club cocktail party the rock ehi to hoga na ye wala ehi to hoga na acha dekho check kar lena theek hai jo bhi hai main kar diya the only kind hearted character in that play each abigail the daughter of the barbs arrange the following plays by t s eliot in chronological order what is the first work here so the family the rock is rock published in 1934 theek hai chalo rock published in 1934 whereas you have the family reunion published in 1939 it's a blank verse poem written in blank verse whereas cocktail party published in 1948 iska jo hai 1948 mein likha gaya tha में लिखा गया था उसके बाद 1949 में क्या हुआ स्टेज हुआ पब्लिश हुआ 1949 पे 1950 1949 पे क्या हुआ दैट इज परफॉर्म एंड 1950 में पब्लिश हुआ ठीक है दैट इज कॉन्फिडेंशियल दैट इज यू हैव द कॉकटेल पार्टी एक्चुअली कॉकटेल पार्टी सो सो the rock 1934 the family reunion that is you have 1939 and then you have the cocktail party this one and the confidential prague is 1954 <coughs> then what is the right answer फर्स्ट वन इज हेयर रॉक थ्री 
then the okay, three two this is nineteen forty eight family reunion is when is the family nineteen nineteen thirty nine sorry nineteen thirty nine nineteen thirty nine thirty nine nineteen देखो रॉक वॉच पब्लिश थी नाइनटीन थर्टी फोर ठीक है रॉक नाइनटीन थर्टी फोर में मैं एक बार लिख दे रहा हूँ ठीक है नाइनटीन थर्टी हाँ ठीक है पॉक्टल पार्टी पब्लिश हुआ था पॉक्टल पार्टी जो हुआ था नाइनटीन फोर्टी एट नाइनटीन फोर्टी नाइन फिफ्टी कॉन्फिडेंस इन क्लाक इट वॉज एक्चुअली नाइनटीन फिफ्टी फोर पे ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है ओके हुई रिटर्न कॉन्फिडेंशियल एजेंट Who has written confidential agent? The confidential agent. Who has written that? The confidential agent. Here, the confidential agent was written by whom? T. S. Eliot. Now, tell me who has written the confidential agent? Who has written the confidential agent? The confidential clerk is by clerk by T. S. Eliot. ठीक है. Agent by whom? Excellent, excellent. Graham Greene. Excellent, Sujita. It was it is Graham Greene. Excellent. Excellent. Graham Greene has written the confidential agent, and that the character is D, the profession. Okay, D. D is a character. Excellent, excellent. It was Graham Greene who has written the confidential agent. Very fantastic, guys. Well, okay. Now you. Hmm. So it was written in six weeks. Graham Graham Greene has written that work in six weeks actually. So the last playwright. To win the Nobel Prize in Literature, the last playwright to win the Nobel Prize in Literature was Woodsweinka Dario Fo, Harold Pinter, Alfred Jelinek. The last playwright to win the Nobel Prize in Literature was So Wolfsweika got Nobel Prize in in which year? 1986. Okay. And the first African to receive the Nobel Prize. The first African to receive the Nobel Prize was Wolfsweika. Okay. Remember that the first African, the first African to receive the prestigious Nobel Prize and got in 1980. Six. Then you have Harold Pinter got when? Harold Pinter, excellent. Harold Pinter got in two thousand five. Alfred Jelinek got two thousand four probably. And Dario Fo got nineteen ninety seven. Good. So yeah, the the last playwright to win the Nobel Prize was Harold Pinter. Excellent. So Brown should do it as well. It was Harold Pinter. Okay. Alfred Jelinek got the Nobel Prize in 2004, and uh, famous work is on uh, the piano, the piano teacher. Okay, Alfred Jelinek's famous work. Can I write it? Write it. Okay. Uh, so write it down. That the famous work of Alfred Jelinek is the piano teacher. The piano teacher. Okay. Piano teacher is a very famous work by Alfred Jelinek. Okay. And Dario Fo's famous work is actually the Virtuous Burglar. The first work, first important work by Dario Fo is the Virtuous Burglar. ठीक है? The Virtuous Burglar, Burglar is the uh, first work, the famous work by Dario Fo. Dario Fo, 1997 पे मिला था उसको, ठीक है? The piano teacher by Alfred Jelinek. Alfred Jelinek the piano teacher. So here the right answer is Harold Pinter, 2005. Have you written down the virtuous burglar by Will uh, by Bedario Fo by Alfred Jelinek, the piano teacher? Okay, let's finish it.
And here is the question number seven on your screen. Do answer. Okay. Find the dramatic device from the clues given below here. It is a unknotting in French, that is unraveling. It follows the climax. It assists in unraveling the plot's complications. What is it? Find the dramatic device. Excellent. Excellent guru. Excellent. Excellent guru. Fantastic. Here it is denouement. Denouement is actually unknotting or unraveling. In French, it follows after the climax, it comes that is denouement at the end of a play. It assists in unraveling the plot's complications. That is the denouement. Whereas Duke's ex machinia is actually what is what do you know by the hair is bought from the machine it means god from the god from the machine that is the divine intervention divine introduction also hmm. divine god from the machine is digs machinia that is sudden sudden unlikely occurrence or the introduction of god to resolve or to unravel any plot of a work that is digs ex machinia Okay, God from the machine, God's intervention, God is introduced suddenly, hmm. unlikely the unlikely the occur unlike occurrence of God to resolve the plot, it's Duke's ex machinia, and it is the main aim is to provide happy ending. The main aim is to provide happy ending, and it was Eschylus who had introduced Duke's ex machinia that God from the machine. The divine intervention to unravel, to unravel the knot. Okay, that is unknotting. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, to, uh, that is to give a happy ending. That is deep sense machine. But here the right answer is uh, denouement. Okay, it is the divine intervention. And what is <coughs> detragonist? Detragonist is actually the the constant helper of the protagonist. Okay, denouement is different. Deep sense machine is different. The God's intervention is actually or introduction occurrence is. Deep sense machine here, yeah. whereas uh, detragonist, what is detragonist? Here, it is the constant helper of the protagonist. Okay, constant helper of the protagonist. Constant helper of the protagonist is known as constant helper of the protagonist is known as detragonist. The second most important character in a war is known as detragonist. Second most important character. After the protagonist is known as protagonist, the constant helper who is helping the hero, the protagonist in a work. That is here protagonist. Have you got it? What is Duke's machinia? What is protagonist? And what is denouement? And anticlimax is known everyone. Hmm. <clears throat> so next question. The first play in English written by an Indian was titled. <clears throat> the first play in English written by an Indian was titled The Persecuted, the Hindu Society. Then you have here uh, the Maharaja Madhav, uh, Madhavara Preswa, then the Chandragupta the Emperor. What was the? Hmm. It was uh, the persecuted by Krishna Mohan, by Krishna Mohan. Banerjee. Hmm. Krishna Mohan Banerjee has written the persecuted. Exactly. Published in 1831. Published in 1831. The first Indian drama in English by Krishna Mohan Banerjee. That is 1831. And who has written Chandragupta the Emperor, the play? Chandragupta the Emperor was written by whom? It was Dijendra Lal. It was Dijendra Lal. D. Lal has written the play called Chandragupta the Emperor. D. Lal. Chandragupta the emperor was written by Dilal Dijendralal. ठीक है चलो first director of the national school of drama the first director of national school of drama was 
the first director of national school drama watch the first director of the national school drama watch maharaja of mandi bansi call ratanthiyam ibrahim alkaji who was the first director of national school of drama who was the first school the first director of national school of drama here is question number 9 on your screen hmm got it sir it's ibrahim subramanian as well the first director of the national school of drama everyone right everyone fantastic it's ibrahim alkezi is the right answer ibrahim alkezi is the right answer the director of national school of drama is ibrahim alkezi hmm. prides are not for burning is a bbc award winning play 1993 written by dina mehta malini roy dina mystery sanjana kapoor brides are not for burning brides sorry brides are not for burning is a bbc award winning play published in 1993 here the domestic it is about the domestic violence this play is about the domestic violence the portrait depiction of the domestic violence but brides are not for burning exactly here mm-hmm. here who is the main protagonist exactly everyone exactly dina mehta dina mehta has written but brides are not burning brides are not for burning it's dina mehta is the fantastic dina mehta has written this play now will you play will you please tell me okay who is the bride here the title of the character is bark bride any idea do you know that who is born to death here who is born to death is lakshmi the young bride is a young bride the young bride is lakshmi lakshmi is the it is lakshmi okay who born to death who born to who born to death probably 19, 1993 ek baar check kar lena theek hai 1993 शायद होगा ठीक है एक बार चेक कर लेना ठीक है 1993 होगा गौरव शायद बट एक बार चेक कर लेना और इधर पे तो लिखा है 1993 में जो तो लिखा है सो इट इज लक्ष्मी द ब्राइट्स 1993 इज द ओके चलो लक्ष्मी इज द कैरेक्टर है William Langland wrote his poems in the Dash dialect. East Midland, West Midland, Wessex, Northern. William Langland wrote his poems in the Dash dialect. East Midland dialect, West Midland dialect, West Six, North Third. Is it eleven? Okay, eleven. Okay. Eleven B B B everyone B, okay. Excellent. It's West Midland dialect. And which work was written especially? That was Piers Plowman. Okay. West Midland dialect. Okay. Piers the elder divers. Piers the Plowman was written in West Midland dialect. And Chaucer has written. Now tell me, Chaucer has written in which language? In which dialect? Sorry, tell me. Chaucer has written in which dialect? Write it down. Chaucer. Chaucer has written in which dialect? Any idea? Chaucer. Chaucer was popularly writing in which dialect? Hmm. So excellent, got it. Yes, the problem. So Chaucer has written in which dialect?
excellent. It is East Midland Dial. Everyone, yeah. Everyone, excellent. Got it, everyone. Got it. Anandita, Subram, Sushtrita, everyone. Saurav as well. East Midland Dial at me, Chosar. Go to excellent. Chosar has also written. Chosar has written East Midland Dial. Fantastic. Next slide. Let's go. Sorry. They are each. Shakespeare wrote a total of Shakespeare wrote a total of dash sonnets. So fantastic. It's one fifty one fifty four salts. So Dash is a collection of ballads and popular songs collected edited by Bees of Thomas Percy of Sansa here. One fifty four sonnets on the right hand side. So, Dash is a collection of ballads and popular songs collected and edited by Bishop Thomas Percy. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Anandita was on Anandita and Subramanian as well. Is relics of the ancient English poetry. Relics of the Relics of Ancient English Poetry by Bishop Pars. Bishop Tham Thomas Pars. He is the right answer. Excellent, Sujit Ajayan. Sujit Arjun there, Sujit. Okay. Then when Lilias last in the Toriad bloom is an elegy. Is an elegy too. And tell me who has written as well. And tell me who has written as well. This is an elegy to whom? It's Abraham Lincoln. Elegy to Abraham Lincoln. Exactly. Hmm. Abraham Lincoln. It was written okay after month the assassination of the president Abraham Lincoln. After month the assassination of Abraham Lincoln, it was written in an elegy to Abraham Lincoln written by Walt Whitman. Whitman. No, लिखा था ठीक है. After month the assassination of Abraham, uh, that is Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, exactly. Dash was the first English uh, English poet to write in English. Dash was the first Indian English poet to write in English. Virajiv, Tarudat, Arvind, Arvind Tag. Dash was the first Indian English poet to write in English. Yeah. Do like the session as well. Share with your friends. Those who are new, do join the Telegram channel. That is Santu Sahu UGC Net. Thank you. Thank you. It's Henry Dirajio. Henry Vivian Dirajio. Henry Dirajio was the first English poet to write in English. Excellent, everyone. Next question: Who among the following won Nobel Prize? Who among the following won a Nobel Prize for literature? Derek Walcott, Kamau Prathwet, Noam Davis, Kwame Kwame Davis, Claudia Rankin. Who among the following won a Nobel Prize for literature? Yeah. Yeah, 
Derek Walcott. Hmm. Derek Walcott, in which year, in which year, Derek Walcott got the Nobel, got the Nobel Prize for Literature, in which year, in which year, Somebody Blew Up America is a poem by Derek Wall got the Nobel Prize in his year 1992. Excellent goal. 1992 man, Derek Wall. Hmm. Got it, everyone. Somebody Blew Up America is a poem by and this poem is actually yeah, it is about the blowing up the trade center. It is about the blowing up, blowing up the trade center, trade center. Okay. And American government actually knew beforehand, beforehand that the trade center was going to be blown actually, blown up, and then, but after knowing that. They took no action to protect that catastrophe, to protect that, uh, that is the trade center. Hmm. In this sense, they are actually also the partners of this crime. Partners of this crime here, Ameri Baraka is accusing the American government hmm, who after knowing that the trade center is going to be blown up, did not protect it. That's why somebody blew up America. So here, yeah, this is a poem. This poem is about that. Amiri Baraka is the writer. So moving ahead to question number eighteen. The school of poetry called movement. The school of poetry called movement was launched in. The school of poetry was called movement was launched in Britain in the dash. The school of poetry called movement was launched in Britain Das. 18. Angry Young Movement 1950s is the right answer. Yeah, 1950s is the right answer. And here, in 1954, in 19, and now tell me who has coined the term movement? Hmm. 1950s is the right answer. Now tell me who has coined Gorod, Anandita, Subrangsu, Saurav, Sturita, and those who are watching everyone, Sujit. Who has coined here? Movement J.D. Scott. J.D. Scott in 1954. Excellent Godot. 1954 is the right answer. Hmm. In 1954, it was J.D. Scott who coined movement. So, now ES is a poem by the Native American writer Joy Harjo, Sermon Alexi, Christos, Kimberly Blazer, who has written the poem called Joy. And that is ES. ES is a poem by the Native American writer. Yes, it's a poem by It is a, yes, is a poem by Joy Harjo. Okay? Joy Harjo. Yes, is a poem by Joy Harjo. Chalo. Bohat top question hai. Bohat top question. Das employed Old English poetic compounds in his poetry. Alfred Lord Tennyson, G. M. G. Edward Manley Hopkins, Robert Browning, Charles Hopkins. Who employed Old English poetic compounds in his poetry? 
who employed only his poetic compounds in his poetry. Which one is? It was Gerald Manley Hopkins. Okay, Gerald Gerald Manley Hopkins. G. M. Hopkins had actually employed Old English poetic compounds in his poetry. So here C is the right answer. Let's dapple and the usage of words like you see dappled with damsel. Okay, dappled. The preposition will be in the dappled with damsel. Then there is also a word like uh, milled with yellow. Milled with the yellow compound words. Okay. Then you have um, beauty in the ghost. Beauty in the ghost. These are compound words. And even in the poem Pied Beauty, he has also used that kind of used. Hmm. So G. M. Hopkins has used the poetic compounds in his poetry. Only in his poetic compounds. Okay. Now a grain of wheat, a grain of wheat which was authored by a grain of wheat was authored by Gugivathango, also in the Chinua HB, Uchi Machita. Dappled with damson, dappled with damson, milled with yellow, beauty in the ghost. Dappled with damson, milled with yellow, beauty in the ghost. A grain of, a, a grain, sorry, a grain of wheat was authored by Mugiwa Thongo. It's a historical novel. It's a historical novel by the Kenyan writer that is Bugiwa Thongo. It is actually a historical novel. It's a historical novel. Hmm. It is said during the it is said during the during the uh, during the state of emergency. Actually. During the state of during the state of emergency. During the state of emergency hmm. in Kenyan struggle. In Kenyan struggle of independence. In Kenyan struggle of independence. Okay. Here uh, the main character is Mugo. Mugo. M U G O. Mugo is the protagonist of this work. That is a grain, a grain of wheat. Mugo. A historical novel said during the state of emergency in Kenyan's independence. Kenyan struggle for independence. State of emergency where Mugo is the M U G O is the protagonist. So, the story of Robinson Crusoe. The story of Robinson Crusoe was inspired by the real life experience of a seaman. By the real life experience of a seaman, Alexander Selvig, a Scottish seaman actually, Scottish seaman who spent four years in the deserted island of Roneo Lagado, Juan Ferdinand's Islands. And Ferdinand's and some perfume. The story of Robinson Crusoe was inspired by the real life experience of a seaman, Alexander Selby, who spent four years in the deserted island of Borneo, Lagardo, John, John Ferdinand, uh, Fernandes, Fernandes Islands, and Curfew. Yeah, it is. John Fernandes Islands, Pacific set of island, yeah, Pacific Ocean, Pacific Ocean, exactly. So, Bronco, it is C is the right answer. Hmm. Check. Which work of Jane Austen is a satire against Gothic Romans and stormy passions? Pride and Prejudice, Mansfield Park, Ema, Northanger Abbey. 
reached Varg of Jain Ostad, which is satire against the Gothic romance and stormy pastures. Many a time I have discussed 23D, Northanger Abbey. It is even a coming of age story. It is even coming of age story. Excellent, Anandita, then Sucharita, then Gorda, everyone. It is also a satire, satire plus satire on Gothic, Gothic romance as well as a coming of age story. And who is the protagonist of the work? Who is the protagonist? Who is the protagonist of Northanger Abbey? It was, it was. Who? It was Catherine Morland. It was Catherine. It was Catherine Morland is a character. The protagonist of this novel is Catherine Morland. Here, this work was published posthumously after the death of Jane Austen. Okay? After the death of Jane Austen. It was published with another work and the name of the work was Persuasion. It was Persuasion. It is published posthumously with persuasion. Take a persuasion. Take a persuasion is the work with whom, uh, with, uh, with that work, Northanger Abbey published posthumously. Take And it was 1817. These works are published in 1817, although in on the cover book, on the cover page of the book, it was written in 1818. So, it's a big letter. Take it. It's a 1817 be hoga. 1818 be hoga. So Catherine Morland, the heroine of Northanger Abbey, Northanger Abbey and Persuasion published uh, in 1817, but on the cover page it was written 1818. Think it is published posthumously. Chateron, uh, Chateron Gothic. Think it. Chal. There is question 24. Dickens a tale of two cities, so it's considerable influence of Thomas Cullen's which one? Sartre researchers. In the model, in the model it was written exactly. Hmm. Excellent it was the French Revolution. The French Revolution had influenced Dickens to write a tale of two cities. Exactly, it is the French Revolution is the right answer. Baka is the central character in the novel. Untouchable Cooley, the road Bahad Barput. The discussion. Okay. Untouchable published in 1935. Untouchable published in 1935, Puli published in 1936, Two Bards and a Leaf, Two Leaves and a Bard, Two Leaves and a Bard published in 1937, Two Leaves and a Bard. So, yeah. so, Untouchable is published in 1935, Baka is the character, 1935, 20, 26 Kakon Bola, good evening, Chalo. Arkinaran created a fictional place called Malaguri, okay, 2016. In which work for the first time Arkanaran has used it? In which work? What was the work? First he has used the term, uh, the fictional place of Malaguri. Hmm. Excellent, Swami and Friends. Excellent, Swami. Swami and Friends is the work where he for the first time has used excellent Swami and Swami and friends is the work where for the first time Arkanaran has used the fictional place called Malaguti. By sex. So the Virginia Woolf's to the lighthouse has been compared to whom? 27 year. The Virginia Woolf's to the lighthouse has been compared to whom? Twenty-seven, yeah, exactly, exactly. Wait, yeah. So, to the lighthouse, where Lily Briscoe, where Lily Briscoe is the painter, 
of this to the lighthouse exactly everyone fantastic subram shudan saw of it is where shall we go this summer this is a work by anita desai this is a work by anita desai theek hai this is a work by anita desai hmm here it is it is where shall we go where shall we go, where shall we go this summer it is the story of sita it is the story of sita who is pregnant who is pregnant but not willing to deliver deliver her her new word because of just let me count just one minute just just a minute so it was the it was the story of sita who was pregnant but not will not willing to deliver her newborn because of the because of the circumstances bad circumstances okay so here the financial expert who has written the financial expert who has written the financial expert any idea who has written the financial expert the financial expert was written by whom the financial expert the nectar in a sea बाई बाई ब्लैक बट किसने लिखा है द फिनेंशियल एक्सपर्ट किसने लिखा है एनी आइडिया द फिनेंशियल एक्सपर्ट वॉज इटन बाई आर के नारायण हु इज द प्रोटेगनिस्ट यार मार्ग ठीक है मार्ग इज द प्रोटेगनिस्ट ऑफ फिनेंशियल एक्सपर्ट नेक्टर इन सीप इज अर्क बाई नेक्टर इन सीप इज अर्क बाई कमला मार्कंडिया एक्जैक्टली Kamla Markandeya has written Nectar in a Sea. The title has been taken from Coldridge War Without Hope. War Without Hope. Coldridge poem War Without Hope. And Bye Bye Blackbird is a work by Bye Bye Blackbird is a work by any idea? Write it down. Write, write it down in the comment box. Okay, let me erase here. The local, the local, the locality in Afra Bands for Onuku. Afra Bands for Onuku. Okay. Each Suriname, the Rodenli Island, Egypt, Egypt, and sorry, what is the local of Afra Bands for Onuku? Excellent. it is uh, exactly it was actually also it was also written by anita desai okay it is uh, it is dealing with a study of human relationship study of human relationship that is actually uh, by the blackbird here it is the surina a local affluence orunuki surina what is the subtitle of what is the subtitle of orunuku what is the sub subtitle of orunuku subtitle kya hai what is the subtitle of orunuku any idea Dasle, क्या है वॉट इज द सब टाइटल ऑफ रोनुकू एंड आफ्रा बेन वॉज द फर्स्ट राइटर वॉज Excellent. The royal slave. The royal slave. Excellent. The yeah spy was there. The first female spy was there, and she was the first writer, first female writer. She was doing her livelihood by writing only. Hmm? 
So the royal slave. Which of the following works begin as a parody of Pamela by Samuel Richardson? Was painting her livelihood by writing only. Was Afra Bin the Urunku, the royal Urunku or the royal slave? Hmm. Joseph Andrews. It is also known as what? Go to tell me. Joseph Andrews is also known as what? Which work is known as dash in prose? So here, this Pamela Samuel Richardson. Pamela is a begin as a parody of Pamela by Samuel Richardson. Get the following works begin as a parody of Pamela. So Joseph Andrews, then Pamela. Okay. The first novel by D. S. Lawrence each. The Rainbow, the Lady Gaga, the Lover, Sons and Lovers, the White People. Thirty. Hmm. Hmm. It is the white peacock exactly? In which year it was published? In which year it was published? 1911. It is published in 1911. But on the title book it was written. On the title it was written 1910. Okay? Published in 1911. But on the title it was written 1910. So Joseph Andrews is known as comic epic in prose. Joseph Andrews is known as comic epic. Okay? Comic epic in prose. And building. Next question. With me, with me dies the republic. Sun Lovers, 1920. Okay. Where famous last words of which prose stylist? Aristotle, Cicero, Plato, Quintilian. With me dies the republic. Were fast or famous last words of which prose stylist? Cicero, it's Cicero, okay? It will die in the Republic. Is it, is it Plato? But I, I think it is Cicero, okay? One more check, okay? 99% Cicero, okay? So one more check, okay? Cicero, I'm, I'm going with Cicero, okay? Cicero, okay? Cicero, okay? Cicero, okay? Cicero, okay? Cicero, okay? Okay, okay? Okay, LC Knights, and F.R. Levis together edit journal called F.R. Levis Scrutiny Relation. Hmm. The name critics F.R. Levis founded the journal called Scrutiny. Scrutiny is the right answer. Excellent evidence, Scrutiny. Make women, make, make women rational preachers. And free citizens, and they will quickly become good wives and mothers. Is name Bulata? Make women rational creatures and free citizens, they will quickly become good wives and mothers. Good wife, who?
मेरी सी ठीक है सी सी चल फॉरगेटिंग इज अ टेक्निक फॉरगेटिंग इज अ टेक्निक ऑफ टेक्निक फॉर डीप फेमरेशन टू बिलीव इन दिस स्टोरी कौन सा स्टूल फॉरगेटिंग इज अ टेक्निक ऑफ डीप फेमरेशन फॉरगेटिंग सॉरी 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 बिकॉज फोर ग्राउंडिंग फोर ग्राउंडिंग फोर ग्राउंडिंग इज अ टेक्निक फॉर डीप फैमिलाइजेशन टू बिलीव इन दिस थे अरे डी फैमिली से ना रशियन फॉर्मुलिस्ट होगा ना रशियन डी फैमिली टेक्निक फॉर डी फैमिली रशियन फॉर्मुलिस्ट डी फैमिलीजेशन एवरीडे यूज लैंग्वेज को एवरीडे यूज लैंग्वेज को डी फैमिलीज करना बाय यूजिंग मेटाफोर्स फिगर ऑफ स्पीच रशियन फॉर्मुलिस्ट थर्टी फोर The elements of the common laws of England, written by the first Viscount of Saint Alban, he is better known as what? Hmm. The elements of common laws of England was written by by the first Viscount of Saint Alban. He is better known as the Renaissance scholars David Hume, Francis Bacon, Walter Benjamin. Okay, okay, okay. Don't worry. I'll be ending it as well. I'll be ending it as well. The elements <laughs> first discount of Saint Alban it is actually Francis Bacon. Okay, remember that Francis Bacon was also <laughs> known as. Fast discount of Saint Alban Francis Bacon. So here C is the right answer. The Renaissance studies in the art and poetry was written by the Renaissance studies in the art and poetry. Art and poetry was written by whom? Hmm. Exactly. It's Walter Pater. This Walter Pater is the right answer. Walter Pater is the The Renaissance studies in the art and poetry was written by that is the Renaissance studies in the art and poetry was written by Walter Pater. Hmm. A British poet, a British poet, a British poet who declared mentally ill and was sent to a hospital. To be treated for cell shock, for writing a letter entitled "A Soldier's Declaration," the poet was who? The Soldier's Declaration. John McCrae, Will Wilfred Owen, Sigurd Sassoon, Alan Seeger. Thirty-seven here. It's Sigurd Sassoon, "A Soldier's Declaration," the letter. A soldier's declarations. S से याद रखना. S for S. ठीक है. चलो. Sigurd Sassoon. Sigurd Sassoon soldier's declaration. The art of. Yeah, exactly. It was Sigurd Sassoon. Hmm. Excellent. Anindita even. Still still the even. Exactly. Hmm. Hmm. The art of storytelling is coming to an end. This is an observation made by. The art of storytelling coming to an end. I'll be ending at 40. I'll be doing only two questions. Walter Benjamin.
no 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 part of part of storytelling is coming to an end no walter benjamin no it's uh I have to check it. It is not Jaffar Satri. It is not Walter Benjamin. We can back as well. It is Gorby Lucas. Is it? Which one? Walter Benjamin. It is Benjamin. Thirty. Yeah, yeah. It is. It is Benjamin. 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 Yeah. Coming to an end. Earlier we also did. Coming to Walter Benjamin is the end. No, no, it is Walter Benjamin actually. It is Benjamin actually. Yeah, you are right actually. And the, we even did it earlier. The art of storytelling is coming to an end. Walter Benjamin. Yeah, you can remember that. Hmm. Jack Slacon posits three orders of three orders of states of human mental disposition: imaginary, symbolic, real, symbolic, real, and imaginary. Three orders. First, it's a first is imaginary, then it's symbol, then it's real. First, imaginary, then symbolic, then real. This one, thirteen and a, thirteen and a, fourteen. Apart from his English dictionary. Dr. Samuel Johnson is known for his journal called Rambler, Idler, Adventurer, Tattler. The rambler is the rest. The rambler. Hmm. Chomsky made a difference between grammaticality and practicality, acceptability, applicability, and usage. I have to check it. This question must be. I have to. Uh, I think. ये जो है ये तो नहीं होगा. I think it is acceptability. ठीक है. It's not applicability or practicality. It's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, this one. This one. Grammaticality के साथ acceptability. Uh, acceptability. C is the answer. अगर practicality होगा तो applicability भी हो सकता है ना. अगर practicality हो हो सकता है तो applicability हो सकता है ना. Grammaticality next. एक बार check कर लेना. I'm I'm going with here C. Acceptability. ठीक है. Pedagogy, the method and practice of teaching. The method and practice. Yeah, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'll be ending it here. Okay. I'll be ending it here. So this question will be ending. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Good night, everyone. Hmm. So I'll be ending it here. Thank you.